Microsoft has introduced an innovative system called Self-Taught Optimizer, or STOP for short. This technology is a significant step forward in the journey towards artificial general intelligence. STOP has the ability to autonomously generate top-notch code for a variety of tasks and domains. What sets it apart is its self-improvement mechanism, where it learns from its own errors over time. Now let's dive into why this matters. Code optimization is a crucial aspect of software development. It involves enhancing a code's performance by utilizing fewer resources such as CPU time, memory, or network bandwidth. This is particularly important for ensuring that software operates efficiently, especially in situations where tasks need to be completed rapidly and cost-effectively. The challenge lies in the complexity of improving code. Crafting optimal code for different scenarios requires extensive knowledge, and the optimization approach may vary depending on the computer and programming language used. Typically, this process is time-consuming and demands human intervention to fine-tune the code. But what if we could automate this process? Imagine a system that could autonomously generate the best possible code for any given task without human intervention. Even more intriguing, what if this system could learn from its mistakes and refine itself? Enter Microsoft's STOP. In this video, we'll explore the inner workings of STOP, addressing questions like how it operates, its capabilities, and why it's a game changer. The prospect of a self-learning code optimization system opens up new possibilities in the realm of software development, potentially revolutionizing the way we approach and execute coding tasks. And just before we get into it, if you're new here and aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's going on in the latest technology and in the world around us. STOP is an innovative system that brings together two powerful concepts, Tree of Thoughts, TOT, and Program AED Language Models, PAL. TOT is like a framework that uses advanced language models to help break down problems into smaller, understandable steps using natural language. On the other hand, PAL is a method that takes advantage of language models to generate programs as steps for solving problems in natural language. But the actual execution happens in a programming environment like Python. Now, what sets STOP apart is that it combines the strengths of both TOT and PAL. It uses language models not only to generate steps in plain language, but also to create programmatic steps for solving problems. But here's the twist. STOP doesn't stop there. It goes a step further by evaluating these generated steps. It looks at factors like correctness, efficiency, readability, and simplicity. After this evaluation, STOP cleverly selects the best steps for each problem and assembles them into a final solution presented as a piece of code. It's not just about generating steps. It's about generating the best steps and crafting a solution that ticks all the right boxes. Here's the fascinating aspect. STOP doesn't just create code once and move on. It actually observes and learns from its own coding process over time. Picture this. It has a built-in mechanism that lets it recognize its strengths and weaknesses, adjusting itself accordingly. If STOP produces faulty or inefficient code, it figures out why and aims to avoid those mistakes in the future. On the flip side, if it gets things right, it analyzes its success to replicate it in other situations. Now let's delve into the magic behind its continuous improvement. Recursive self-improvement. While not a groundbreaking concept in the realm of artificial intelligence, STOP excels when it comes to coding. Recursive self-improvement is like developing a habit of learning from past actions to make smarter decisions in the future. It's akin to reviewing your work, identifying areas for improvement, and fine-tuning the process to elevate your performance. This not only enhances the quality of the code, but also propels the system for standing on its own, a key step in the journey towards artificial general intelligence. The constant cycle of self-assessment and refinement in STOP offers a glimpse into a future where AI systems autonomously evolve. This is significant as we aspire for more intelligent and independent systems. Through this continuous loop of self-evaluation and adjustment, STOP becomes a self-taught system capable of generating high-quality code without external guidance or supervision. And that's a noteworthy stride toward a future where AI systems grow and adapt on their own. While the concept of code that improves itself is fascinating, it's crucial to have safeguards in place to prevent any unforeseen issues. The system prioritizes safety, operating within a carefully monitored environment to avoid unexpected developments. It incorporates protocols to keep a close eye on the generated code, ensuring it aligns with our goals and meets required standards. This commitment to safety is especially important in the realm of self-improving technologies, where mistakes can have significant consequences. With a strong safety framework, STOP not only advances code generation, but does so responsibly, emphasizing the controlled progression towards artificial general intelligence. And before we move further, if you're enjoying it so far, make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing if you want to watch more content like this one. 
So let's dive into the remarkable capabilities of Stop and explore how it stands out with its impressive skills. According to a Microsoft research paper, Stop excels in generating high-quality code across diverse domains. These domains span mathematical reasoning, symbolic reasoning, algorithmic reasoning, natural language processing, computer vision, data analysis, web development, game development, and more. What sets Stop apart from other leading code generation systems like Tot, PAL, Codex, and GPT-3? The answer lies in its superior performance across various dimensions. Stop's codes exhibit excellence in accuracy, efficiency, clarity, simplicity, universality, robustness, and expandability. In the realm of mathematical reasoning, Stop adopts a clear, efficient, and straightforward approach. It minimizes the number of mathematical operations and grouping symbols, presenting a solution that is both concise and comprehensible. But Stop goes beyond mere correctness and speed. Its solutions are designed with clarity and simplicity in mind. Each solution is accompanied by a step-by-step -step explanation, making it accessible to a wide audience. Stop not only provides right and swift answers, but ensures that these solutions are user-friendly, breaking down complex processes into easily digestible steps. What adds to the appeal of Stop's solutions is their versatility and resilience. They can adeptly handle a range of inputs and unexpected scenarios without encountering any difficulties. In essence, Stop not only delivers top-notch code, but does so in a way that is accurate, efficient, clear, user-friendly, and adaptable to various challenges. Stop possesses a remarkable set of skills, notably its ability to optimize itself through self-learning. If you're curious to witness more instances of Stop's capabilities, I encourage you to explore the detailed paper linked in the video description. The technology at play here is truly awe-inspiring. Imagine a system that autonomously crafts the most efficient code for any task or domain, all without human intervention. What's even more impressive is its capacity to learn from its coding endeavors, pinpoint errors and inefficiencies within itself, and rectify them. It's not just about generating code. Stop goes a step further by optimizing it all without external input. This, in my view, positions Stop as one of the most revolutionary advancements in recent artificial intelligence. The potential impact is substantial, heralding a transformation in how we create and utilize software applications. It opens up avenues for innovation and unleashes creativity. I'm curious to know your perspective. Do you share my enthusiasm or do you harbor reservations or questions? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. I believe you found this video to be engaging and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and hit the bell icon for timely notifications on new uploads. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.